Hey guys, we're here at Audio Doctor, which is a pro audio repair shop in San Diego, California. We're on Rolando Boulevard. Is that right? Or Drive? 4836. 4836. Rolando Boulevard. Rolando Boulevard. That's where we are. So um, I've started working here like a couple days, a couple afternoons a week um, because I want to learn how to fix and build my own audio gear as an audio engineer. So I thought it'd be fun to do a video here today. So what I figured we would do is I would talk about maintaining and cleaning your pro audio gear. And we're going to be using this Allen and Heath board to do that today. All right. So what we recommend here in the shop is to use the Deoxit D5 uh, electronics cleaner. And so this is what I'm going to be using here on this board in a second. I will move the camera so you can see it and see what I'm doing. Um, but just so you know, if you're wondering what I'm using, this is it. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. Cool. So on this one, the issue is that the pan knob on channel 9 and 10, which is this strip here, is being noisy. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean that out and that'll hopefully fix it. So um, if you can see, I'm not sure how easy it is to see in the camera here, but what I'm doing is I found the back of the pan knob is right back in here. And what I'm looking for is an opening that I can squirt this deox into. So kind of hard to see but there's a little black hole in the middle of that blue backing there for the pan knob and that's where I'm going to squirt this deox so I'm just going to squirt it in um, like so and then I am going to flip it over and I'm going to turn that pan knob back and forth a whole bunch of times and that should hopefully fix the issue sometimes you have to do it a couple of times um, but that's what it does it cleans it out fixes it. You don't have to worry about squirting too much because it's not going to damage any of these circuit boards or anything. So um, you don't have to worry about it dripping onto other stuff in any kind of electronics here. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to put this back into place. I'm going to do that, flip it over, turn the pan knob, and then I'll show you how to clean the faders. So for the faders, I'm going to squirt it in from the other side where the actual fader knob is. And um, that's it. All right. And this is Prince. We've tried to fire him, but he keeps showing up. He works for chips and snacks. Prince is like, don't fire me. It's hard to see in here. Yeah. Okay. Flip that over. Ooh, and you can see it here. You can see the liquid from the deox coming down. Yep. So I'm just gonna turn it. I'm just gonna do this a whole bunch of times. And let me check my yeah. Just gonna do that a whole bunch of times. And you kind of just do this to clean any kind of contact point. Right, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So, um, for the faders, we can do the same thing. I'm just going to squirt it in here because the contact point here is at kind of underneath where the fader is. There's going to be a contact point all the way along this fader. So I just squirt it in and then I move the fader up and down. And that's it.
All right, guys, so that's about it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it useful. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, do all the things that people on YouTube love. I would very much appreciate it. So like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And if you want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So please feel free to check that out. So I think that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. And my patrons do get access to additional content, so please feel free to check that out. And as usual, oh, I thought.